Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do an install video. So right here I did the bulk and method and I was thinking if I should have shaved my sideburns but I didn't because we're not doing that. So we have this bull toe glue that we got from AliExpress. Normally I use cold spawn glue, but it's not expensive at the beauty supply store. So we're gonna try out this bull toe and see like how long it lasts. But right here I was saying why was I putting the glue first and I didn't even like see how the wig fits. So this is the wig, it's 13 by 6 I believe, I'm not sure. But it's in the color, it's like a brownish color with highlights I guess. And it's, wait somebody's calling me. Hold up guys. Okay, so now we just gonna put the wig on. We don't see how she fits. But oh, as I was saying, the wig is 24 inches, but it's not that long to me. But we're gonna cut off this lace that's in the back. And one thing that I forgot to do, I forgot to take out one of the combs that comes in like the top part of the wig, like in the middle. Normally, I take it out just so the wig lays more flat and it's like comfortable. But I, I forgot to cut it out. I'm gonna stop talking soon, but this is the wig on. Yeah, I'm just combing at the hairline to see like if I plucked it to how I want it. But I don't know, I feel like I could have plucked it more, but I also didn't want to over pluck it. So I don't know, I just kind of left it. So here, you just want to make sure your wig lines up with like the cap that's underneath. That's what I'm doing right here, and I'm just seeing if I like it, but I don't know. This lace is not the best lace, like it's not HD lace, it's like, it's not good lace to be honest, but it's decent. I literally keep talking, but right here you want to cut the ear tabs. What I do is I cut it a little bit at a time. Like I don't just cut, cut it all off at once, like you just gotta take your time because if you overcut it, I don't know what to tell you, but you're gonna have a pretty shitty install. So you wanna just do small sections like right here, I cut it like really far from where it should be and then I go back and I try to like see how much more I need to cut off. So you don't wanna make like a big cut. You want to go in like small pieces, but you guys are going to see. So now we're going to apply the glue. You want to apply glue on your skin and you want to apply glue on the cap also but most people mark where they want like the glue not to pass but I just kind of eyeball it I don't really like I don't know I just know my head and I know how much of my forehead I want to be covered so I just go from there and you want to blend the glue out going towards the cap and then you want to blend out the the glue that's on the cap towards like your skin that's how i do it right here put a stick in the glue just because this is a new glue that i'm using and i don't know like how strong it is so i just put two layers but normally i just use one layer <laughs> But I am impatient and I don't wait for the glue to get cut. 
clear but you want to wait for the glue to get clear you see how you're seeing like white stuff underneath the lace you want to wait until the glue is clear but i'm impatient and i never wait but if you're impatient with me when you put it on you just want to keep the dryer like still blowing and you want to comb through the through the wig while like the glue is there so it doesn't like because if you like put the put the band like the like the band we put over the wig if you do that while the glue is still white it's gonna be a mess so to get the glue to kind of dry faster you want to comb through it while the blow dryer is still on cool you want to have your blow dryer on cool and not hot and then you could spray the got to be on the wig also that will help it to dry faster and when you put the glue all over your head perimeter like me and not in sections you gotta really hurry up before the glue dries up so i was spending too much time on the other side and then i remember like i didn't really glue on this side so i sprayed some free spray just to loosen up the glue because i'm pretty sure the glue was dried up and then you want to work on both sides at the same time like don't focus on one side too much because then the other side the glue is going to dry up before the lace actually gets to soak up the glue so you want to just not spend so much time on one side but to make it easier if you're a beginner you're going to do it in sections you're going to do it in three sections you're going to do the sides the two sides and then you do the middle but don't do it all at once like me if you're like a beginner After I think everything is dry, I'm just gonna taste my alcohol in the compound. I'm just gonna like clean up the lace and just clean up like excess glue and stuff from the hair. You want to tie down the lace wig before you cut the lace off just to like secure everything and get everything melted. So you want to tie this shit real real tight like real tight. And that foam thing that I was getting, don't get that because it's so sticky. Like, I don't even think it's for curl here. Like, I wanted to get moles, but like, I couldn't find it, so I thought that was moles, but it's like styling foam. So, I wouldn't recommend you guys, you guys get that. You guys could get the most simple blue bottle or the red one. Right here I'm cutting off the lace and this is when I kind of realized that this lace is not the best like it's so it's so hard like like the lace the texture of the lace is really hard like it's not soft and like thin it's like thick so it's not really a good lace and I wouldn't recommend but I was just trying out like a colored wig and this was like the only wig I could find on AliExpress that wasn't a teapot because I don't know what AliExpress is doing now but all their wigs are a teapot like all their colored wigs are a teapot and I refuse to spend like 300 plus on a wig from these girls on Instagram and stuff like and nah so I'm sticking to AliExpress but it's a hit or miss with them but I refuse to spend $300 on a week I'm sorry sorry sorry
right now on earth. After I cut the lace off, I pulled out the baby hairs and the sideburns and I cut them. Right here, I'm just doing the wig because I really don't like how it looks too wet. Like the curls are you know, not curling. Like I, I need to get product for it. But I'm just fluffing out the curls so the hair could look a little fuller than when it's wet. And I like it dry than wet. So right here, I'm just drying the hair. So I did cut the baby the baby hairs with my flat iron. But I just kinda skipped that part out. So here you wanna use the moles to just lay down the baby hairs. And as you lay them you'll see like where you need to cut more more of the hair off for the baby hairs to get them how you want them and i didn't put makeup on the lace also because i kind of forgot because i was I, I wasn't liking the wig to be honest like i didn't like the lace quality and that and it's the first time i'm trying color so i really because normally i do black with so I, I don't know how the color looks on me but I feel like it's cute, but the lace could be better. So I still haven't really added makeup to the lace since I'm home. I'm not really going out until like with the weekend. So when I go back, I'll probably insert some clips or something of how the lace is doing. But right here, I'm just laying the sideburns. And I think it was kind of too long, so I did probably go over and cut it. But I kind of like my sideburns like dramatic versus my edges. But I didn't end up wearing the wig in the middle part because I didn't like it. Like, I don't know. I just started like that for the video, but this is the end of the video. This is a close up of the face, and I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial. I'm not a pro, but this is how I do it, and that's what I ended up selling it. <laughs>